Okay, so we, we're going to get underway uh, very quickly. And uh, for our post match conference, we have the Springbok captain and the Springbok uh, head coach. So we'll go to our first question. And uh, Atnan Mohammed, you can start. Hi, uh, congratulations. Uh, thanks, Ryan. Congratulations uh, to Jacques and, and, and Sia on your first victory after uh, so many months. Uh, Jacques, just your thoughts on the game? No, uh, I thought, um, yes, compliments with, uh, for, for the Georgians in the first uh, 20, 30 minutes. I mean, we all expected that they, we, we all know about their physicality. And I think it was a bit of a shock, you know, and that's the nice thing about this game. Not a shock, but I thought uh, they, they caught us a little bit because we, 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 we didn't have a marker for 20, for 20 uh, months, you know. So, but now we've got a marker and now we know. Uh, where we are. We, before this, we wondered, yes, how, we are, how, how would we be at the breakdown? How would we be at the scrum? How would we be at our walling? How would we be on our defence? And I think um, now we've got a market and, uh, um, and we can start building and working from this. Um, but definitely um, our discipline was poor, I think, in the first half. Um, and, and that's probably credit to Georgia for putting us under pressure because that's when you concede penalties is when you under pressure. Thank you, Jack. Uh, over to Mark Leeson. Uh, can I ask about it? It's a bit. We're off at half time. Is that anything serious? Um, I think I'm under correction, but I think he's got a rip. Uh, so there's a couple of guys that will maybe have a, a, a knock or a bruise or something like that. Um, but yeah, I think he came off with a rip. But I'm under, I'm, I'm not 100% sure. Thank you, Jack. And uh, Nitin Koopman of Rapport. Hello, Jack. I see you. Um, Jack, um, just in terms of the game itself, um, is this the type of start that you wanted for, for the guys? Something that, that didn't come that easy that, that they had to work for? Yes, I think so. Again, this is exactly why we, uh, we were desperate to play. Any test matches, I don't want to call them preparation test matches because it's test matches, you know, uh, you represent your country. But uh, again, we shouldn't ask for a better uh, opposition in terms of uh, that was available of uh, Georgia. Big physicality, big physicality at the moment, uh, in the good position, nice and physical. That's exactly what we wanted. There's a nice physical battle, and uh, we have solutions at all times. Thank you, Jack. And uh, now the next question uh, goes to Ken Boland. Good evening, Ken. Thanks, Ryan. Uh, evening, Jacques. Yeah, well done. Um, Jacques, apart from the uh, kind of obvious problems in the first quarter with discipline and rust and that sort of thing, uh, were there any areas of the game that uh, concerned you thereafter? And I'm not sure if we're going to get to chat to you again before the team announcement for the second test. So uh, can we presume that for the second test against Georgia, you're going to look to field pretty much the team you're looking at for the first test against the Lions? No, I, as we said in the beginning, and we're going to start, we will select the best available team uh, to to serve our purpose uh, for, for both games. So, so the team we selected this weekend was the best available team. Uh, there was other, there was a lot of guys still coming back from injury. Uh, there was guys that haven't been part of our squad for a while. There was some people who wasn't in that team. So we will select the best available team next day's match. And it's, I think um, it's that we have to work on, I would say that in the, uh, the previous uh, uh, I think the for us is to get a marker uh, because it's tough. So you train and you train, you nice training against each other, but you don't know. It's never full out at the breakdown. It's never full out in uh, defense. It's never full out in the carry. So it uh, never uh, scrums. Uh, 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 but you, you try and get um, uh, 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 yeah, scrums are full out, but you're scrumming against each other and you know what your tactics are and stuff like that. So, so it's difficult to, to, to get 
where, where we at. This is exactly what we needed. So I think uh, your question in terms of uh, was there things uh, uh, that worried me? No, there's not things that worry me. It's just, listen, we now know where we are and we, 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 we have to work on the things that we feel we weren't great at. And... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's lunch I'm still writing. The sun, <laughs> the sun has gone down on me. What? The donut. Load shedding in Pretoria. Can I, can I talk to Ken? Carry on, Jacques. I can see and hear you. <laughs> okay, so, um, <laughs> okay, so yeah, yes, Ken, we just, yeah, we, we've got a marker now and we can, we, we, uh, we adaptable, <laughs> we adaptable in press conference. We have to adapt to what we see in the video and, and obviously it's something that we have to have a look at, uh, but no, this, we've got a marker and we can now start working from there. Uh, we, we, we are trying to sort out the lighting issue here. Hopefully it's not load shedding. Um, right, but uh, let's continue with our, our press conference and we'll go over to Lloyd uh, Bernard. Good evening, Lloyd. Thanks, Rayon. Evening, everyone. How's it, Jacques? See you. Well done. Uh, uh, Jacques, just uh, um, I was wondering about the um, the director of rugby running water. It was quite a, a, a bit of a talking point on, on the broadcast. Um, just the thinking behind that decision, is it something that we can expect to see more of uh, in, in the games uh, moving forward? Yeah, I, look, um, I think um, yeah, we, we try and be, uh, how can I say, in our environment, we, we try and, I can say we're out of the box. We want to, uh, obviously, um, having Rasi was, was uh, uh, nice for me in terms of, of uh, having a chat with him, he, he giving me feedback from the players, uh, running water on the side. So I, I, uh, that's up to you for wanting to do that. So, and we've always worked with Rasi, I've always been a little bit out of the box. Uh, obviously, I think the side of the field um, uh, or in the technical box, but um, he's a teacher. So uh, uh, hopefully, he, he will sell for the next. Thank you, Jacques. And um, next question is over to Craig Ray. Good evening, Craig. Good evening. Thanks, Rayon. Hello, Sia. Hello, um, Jacques. Well done. Uh, Sia, maybe for you, uh, with the Lions coming up, there's so much cat and mouse. Um, you had a test match to win today, obviously, but how much... Were you holding back as well? You don't want to show your full hand so early to the Lions. Are you holding back some of the training ground stuff that you've been working on? Um, no, thank you so much, Craig. No, we weren't holding back. We, you know, we did everything that we wanted for the game. Obviously, we didn't start off the way that we wanted to start, as, as Jack said earlier. Um, you know, I think they caught us off guard. Oh, well, we knew what they were going to bring, you know, and we couldn't get our system, we couldn't get our mauling and our scrambling at the beginning. Um, that was the most important thing for us, and I think the discipline let us down in the, in the first half and we were able to pick it up in the second half. And yeah, we, we, we gave what we wanted to do this week, but we're not holding anything there. You know? we, we're still not hiding from what we were in 2019 because of our physicality and work rate and being a warrior, all the things that uh, talent is, is, not, is not required for. That's what we wanted to see today and hopefully give opportunities to people to be able to show the circus act the stuff that they could have. And, and the flip side of that, your scrum, for, in, for instance, went so well. Do you think that's a nice little warning shot to the Lions as well? Like, you know what's coming, but, you know, yeah, it is for you to see. Yeah, well, we've never, um, we've never hidden or hide, or hide away from any of that. We always going to now set pieces important to us, and we know it will be important to them too. And the Georgians too, it was, we had to focus on it, you know, when thinking too much about the Lions, the Georgians showed us at the beginning of the game what they're capable of, and then we had to make sure and regroup and get back to that. So, yeah, it's, it's always going to be a tough battle, even against the Lions, but Georgia was the most important thing, and I think we, we responded well in the second week. Yeah. Thank you, Sia. And uh, next question, Nathan, good evening. Hi, uh, hi. Thanks, for Ryan. Uh, yeah, firstly, well, congratulations on your victory today. Um, I just want to ask, going forward, what do you, what would it take um, 
what have you taken out of this game um, going uh, forward against the Georgia in the second test? That was for me, eh? Uh, for Sia. For Sia. Okay. Um, I think we, <laughs> just the way we, we want to start, uh, we all, when we say start well, we, we talk about intensity and making sure that we don't wait so long um, to, to, to get going in the game and obviously have better discipline and impose uh, our game plan and our individual work on, on the joint on the Georgians as soon as we can. So that's why we'll, we'll go back and look at the game and see what the faults were. And then we, yeah, we, we look forward to that. But I thought the way we responded was good. And I thought we still left a couple of opportunities out there. Thank you. The next question goes uh, to Jan de Kuhn. And, uh, good evening, Jan. Thank you, Ryan. Uh, Jacques. Uh, I know there was a, a change in intensity from the first 20, second 20, and then the second half. What are the aspects that you think that, that you still need to work on, both going to the second test and to the Lions? No, I think, uh, like I said, I think now we have a starting point. I, and I think I think it's clear for everyone to see that uh, we, we'll probably have to improve in everything. Um, and, uh, and so it's just, but in saying that, I think we expected in the beginning, uh, we expected not playing for 20 months that that it's probably going to be like that. It's it, it's going to be a, a stop-start affair and we have to get cohesion and that's why we want to select our best available side uh, uh, to get that cohesion. But again, taking nothing away from, from uh, Georgia, I mean, they, they really put us under pressure in that first 20, uh, uh, in that first half, uh, I would say, Till the back end of the the first half. So so what do we need to work on? I, I think we'll have to look at the uh, video, look back where we were, how did we find solutions, and probably get a little bit better in everything. Thank you, Jacques. And uh, we're going to move swiftly over to Fatima Said. And uh, we're going to have two more questions after this, and then we move to the uh, our two players that we uh, going to put up for interviews. Thank you. Fatima. Uh, thanks, Rayan. Good evening, uh, Jacques and Sia. Congratulations, firstly. Um, I just wanted to ask you guys, just Jacques, this question for you first. In terms of the teamwork and the collaboration of the team, was it exactly what you expected for the for the test match from from the team? Uh, Fatima, yeah, I must say that I thought the players, the teamwork side of things, um, we. we we anticipated probably a stop start uh, 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 start to the game, and um, due to the lack of, of um, being together for, for some time, and and then obviously as a team we spoke about finding solutions uh, on the run. I think that's the same challenge that United Lions will pose to us. I don't think Warren will show his hand. Work and in terms of collaboration between the, the players on the field, they were very much solution driven, and I thought they did that uh, um, very well. And obviously, what we spoke about at half time, you, uh, well, what I could see it was a notable change in, in terms of um, what we wanted to see in the second half. Thank you, Jack. And our next question is Owen. Good evening, Owen. Good evening. Uh, a question for Jacques, if I may, please. Uh, Jacques, um, uh, you, you finally got to make your debut as the head coach after a long wait. Uh, can you explain how that felt and also what have been the biggest challenges in, in, in making your debut? No, listen, it was fabulous. Uh, absolutely fabulous. I was, um, yeah, it, uh, and um, when I say that, I mean, that you obviously won. I was looking for, for since when, when where I now back in of January uh, in 2020, and uh, and again, that's of 
like this happened. To Georgia for coming out and playing against us, all the organizers and uh, everybody involved, Jeff Stable, uh, Hope from Georgia, uh, uh, from SA Rugby, the British and Ireland Line, actually phenomenal to think that it was probably two weeks of our first test match and then I was last to be spotting to put out from the Zoom to be spent on the very proud. Okay, thank you, Jock. Uh, the, our last question uh, then uh, to Jock and uh, Sia goes to Khaniso. Um, well, thank you very much. Um, Ryan, I'll suppose that you see it directly, man. I'm asking you. Yeah, 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 I'm Sinisimsebenzi <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Sia. And unfortunately, thank you. Unfortunately, we have to conclude there for the first portion of our press conference. And next up will be Afalele Fasi and Franco Mosta. Thank you.